that you have. So I want us to open the power up. I want us to open up our power. I want us to plug it in and let's go to work. What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to a moment of clarity with yours truly, Aaron Thomason. I'm super excited that you're with me. But the question is, did you share this with three people? Did you bring somebody else with you? Do they know that we're getting better together? All right, now you know, in a moment of clarity, and in this space, it is about clarity, breed, and confidence. And how we know that we can get clarity is when we can answer three questions. Who we are, where we currently are in our life, and ultimately where we wanna go. Now, as we're walking through those and getting clarity to take the next step in confidence, here's what I want us to talk about today. Here's what I want us to kind of wrestle with. I got a question. I got a simple question. Are you talking about where you're going? Are you talking about it? Do people around you know where you're going? Are they excited about where you're going? Because see, here's, here's what I know. And that's because I'm guilty. And I'm going to put myself out here. I'm not going to put this all on you. I know that I'm guilty of doing a lot of thinking about stuff that never comes out of my mouth. And guess what? Some of the reason why I only think about it and I don't talk about it is because I'm nervous. I'm a little apprehensive. I'm a little scared. Or I don't have it all kind of baked out and worked out in my mind yet. So why would I tell somebody of an unfinished idea to give them an opportunity to be able to say something against what I'm thinking through that I haven't decided whether it's good or not yet? Here's here, And here's what's interesting about that. You, for the most part, will really never know how good the idea is, at least I didn't, until you start talking about it. You won't understand how brilliant the process or how crazy or big that thing is or how much you're meeting a need in the marketplace until you begin to talk about what's going on in here. That's the reason why so many goals only reside in your mind and never live in the reality of your life is because you're thinking about it and you're nervous about talking about it. Ah, I want to think about that. Now, Nervous about talking about it tells to me a couple of things. One, not confident in the creation of who I am that this thought, though it may feel crazy in its infancy, might be the very thing that my family needs. Might be the very idea that actually transforms, let me say it that way, transforms my life from the space that, I've, that I'm in to the space that I never knew I wanted to be in. Think about that. Or... It tells me if you're only thinking about it and not talking about it, you might be surrounded by the wrong people. Because see, if you're surrounded by the wrong people and you've had people hear your idea and maybe your idea is you're going to college, maybe your idea is I'm getting ready to be an entrepreneur, maybe your idea is you're going to be married and have healthy relationships, maybe your idea is I'm going to move away from my family and, and go to LA or New York or wherever it is, maybe you have something in here that is an idea that's different from where you currently are and you've been taught with the people around you that if I get excited about something... They're going to find a way to squash it, blow out my flame, and you don't want to do it. So here's how, here's how that limits us. And if we want to go to the Bible, the Bible talks about the power of life and death is in the tongue. So when you shut up your mouth, you do what? You shut off your power. When you don't declare where you believe your life is headed because you're only thinking about it and you don't tell anybody, even out loud to yourself, guess what? You shut down the power that you have. So I want us to open the power up. I want us to open up our power. I want us to plug it in and let's go to work. So here's what you gotta be able to do. 
But I know for some people, you're a little nervous about that because here's what happens when you say the words out of your mouth. There are scientific studies and you know this just in being in relationships. When you say the words out of your mouth, you own it. That's why, you're, that's why your mama used to tell you, to say you're sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? And they made you be very specific about what you were sorry for. Or you had to be very specific about what you were asking for. See, the specificity in your language allows for you have to, to own your thinking and your desires. You have to own it because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So some of the reason why I don't speak and I just think is because I don't yet believe what it is is in here in my head. I don't yet believe it. Because I know if I say it and I don't have every one of these steps worked out, then that means I got to figure it out. That means I got to own it. That means all of a sudden I can't just let myself down. I can't let myself off the hook. I have to be willing to figure out how this is going to happen. So I need us to go from thinking to talking. I need us to go from envisioning this in our minds because guess what? You got to do that first. You got to be able to see it, think it, feel it. But now we got to go from thinking to speaking. And if we can go from thinking to speaking and we have the right people around us and we can ultimately declare and start talking about the plans and the things in which we're going, psychologically, your brain hears what you're saying and it will have to find a way to make that a reality. Now you do what? You open up your power. So here's what I need you to be able to do. I need you, if you believe in where you're going in the next six to 12 months, I need you to find someone to tell them where you're going. And just don't say, oh, I'm going down the street. Oh, I'm going to New Orleans. Oh, whatever it is. I don't need you just doing that. I need you to tell them, hey, I'm getting ready to go down the street because down the street is here, this and this and that and that. And that's what's ultimately going to get me. And I'm looking forward to grabbing what is down the street to come back here because I see what it's going to do at the house. That's a totally fictional story. But what happens when you're very specific details, emotions about it, it gets you excited. It gets your spirit excited. It gets your brain excited. It starts turning on neurons of the imagination in your mind that you begin to see how you get there and you want to have the end in which you're speaking of. There's an end, there's a conclusion that you want to see happen, but you can't see it happen until you begin to open up your mouth, open up your power and start declaring that to someone else. Mm -hmm. So the first step is you got to open your mouth. And if you have nobody around you that you trust to hear what you're saying, I need you to go in a closet or in a room by yourself, go to your car, wherever it is you go, and you start talking out loud to yourself about what's going on and what you're getting ready to do. Because even hearing your own voice is going to be able to do some declaration. Yep. Maybe you say, Aaron, I don't want to think that I'm crazy. Any of that stuff, cool. Then I want you to grab your phone. Most phones, whether it's iPhone or Droid, you actually on your phone have a, a voice recorder. I want you to record yourself declaring where you're going and play it back and let's do it every day. Listen to your voice. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Let your power come out because when you begin to hear your voice declaring what it is that you're going to do, you're going to figure out how to get it done. And then the third thing I want you to do, find one person. Hey, maybe you do it by yourself. Maybe you record yourself doing it. I want you to find one person that you can tell. One person that you can tell where you're going, what you want to do, and how you believe you're going to get there. And guess what's going to happen? It's going to do what? It's going to bring clarity because the more you talk about it, the more you wrap your words around it, the more you're starting to see the vision can start to come to pass. And it seems it gets more exciting every time you hear it, every time you talk about it. So then when you keep continue to keep doing that, guess what? Now you're more confident and now in the things that's just in your mind, it's now starting to come out of your mouth. And because you're more confident, you're going to be more likely to take the next step in the direction that you just declared that you're headed. All right. So here, here's all I want us to do. 
Listen, I need you to do me a favor. You know someone that needs to stop thinking and start talking. I need you to give this to three of those folks. Yep, you got them in your life. Give to three of these folks. And then I want you in the comments, do me a favor, talk, start. Even if it's just typing, it's a form of de declaration. I want you to type about what are you declaring? What do you believe in? And maybe you say, hey, Aaron, I need some help being comfortable doing this. Hey, in the comments, you'll see the link, hit the link. Boom, hit book now. Let's get on each other's calendars so we can talk about where you're going and how we put things in, in place for you to go from thinking and start talking about it. Because see, most people only have goals that reside in their minds, but because we're here together on this journey, we're gonna take it from our minds, we're gonna have clarity, breathe the confidence for us to take the next step for now our minds' goals, our minds' dreams to be the reality in which we live in. I'm excited about what you're getting ready to do. I'm excited about the week that you're getting ready to have. And do me a favor, remember this, just because you started out on this journey to get better, it doesn't mean that you weren't already good. So until next time, I'll see you then.